In this unboxing video, we will show you how to assemble your new Hub Alpha e-bike. Photograph the front and the side of the box along with the serial numbers and keep for your own personal records. Using box cutters, cut open the top of the box. Open the box and remove the smaller box from inside. This box contains the e-bike charger. Remove the second box from inside. This box contains the kickstand. Quick release both right and left pedals, and assembly toolkit. Assembly toolkit contains hex keys, wrenches, and flathead and Phillips screwdriver. Have a friend help you carefully lift the bike out of the box and rest it on both the rear wheel and front protector foam. We recommend taking pictures of the bike for your own personal records. Next, you will remove the information bag. This contains the Hosco user manual warranty card, and battery information. We recommend using flat side scissors to remove the zip ties on the front wheel, and then set the wheel aside. Remove the remaining packaging on the rear wheel, but be sure not to touch the brake rotor. Next, you will need a four millimeter hex key. Attach the kickstand to the frame using a four millimeter hex key and tie into what the user manual recommends. We recommend using flat side scissors to remove the remaining packaging material from the bike. Recycle the packaging materials according to your city guidelines. Remove the plastic cap on top of the vertical pipe. Using a five millimeter hex key, loosen the bolt. Then swing around the vertical pipe until the faceplate is up front and straight. Tighten and replace cap. Now use a 4mm hex key to unscrew the four system bolts, removing the handlebars faceplate. Remove the remaining packaging material from the handlebars. Remove the handlebars light system and display. Once removed, place the handlebar onto the stem with the display facing upwards. Use the center line to assure the handlebar is right in the middle. Then screw back in the four stem bolts into the handlebar faceplate. Now you can place the handlebar's light and display system back on the stem and tighten until secured. Grab the front wheel and remove the plastic protectors from both sides. Remove front protection foam. Using a 14 and 17 millimeter wrench, unscrew the front fork protection bolt and disregard it along with other packaging materials. Next, remove and disregard the yellow front brake clip. Take the quick release and unscrew the end and remove the cone spring. Ensure you do not touch the brake rotor while installing the quick release. Enter the quick release on the same side as the brake rotor, add code spring and thread the nut. Now install the front wheel on the fork and make sure the disc is placed in the middle of the brake. Then tighten the quick release. Stand in front of the bike and clamp the front wheel between both legs to verify the handlebars are straight and in line with the front wheel and bolts are tight. Locate left side pedal and install the pedal according to the correct side as their label. Using a pedal wrench, tighten the pedal to what the user manual recommends. Now locate and install the right side pedal. The right side pedal goes on the crank on the right side of the bike. Using a pedal wrench, tighten the pedal to what the user manual recommends. To adjust the seat's height position, hinge the quick release lever open fully, then lock the quick release back into place. Use a bike pump to ensure the tires are inflated with the recommended limits posted on the tire side walls. Once both tires are inflated, rotate the pedals to spin the back wheel to test the chain and brakes to ensure all gears are working properly. 
Next, power on and make sure the display turns on. Also make sure the front headlight powers on. Now insert the key and turn counterclockwise to remove the battery. Once the battery is removed, inspect and ensure the LED light turns on. Replace battery, lock in place, and remove key. Download the Hosco app from your app store. Scan the QR code. Please enter the dynamic code shown on the LCD display. Before changing from class 2 to class 3, carefully read the acknowledgement of risk. Thank you for purchasing a Hofsco e-bike and becoming part of the Hofsco family.